Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here on the video. You're gonna see like right over here in the window. Yeah, I'm on a I just pulled into this little text stop area. Um uh here in western New York. Um just before the New Jersey border. It's gonna be a noisy night. Um, but unfortunately I had to find a place to park because I'm running out of hours after going up to Connecticut, making a load there, and then after Connecticut was, as I saw in the previous video, I had to go up to, I don't know where the heck it was, oh, let's see, oh, off camera, mortal sin, uh, went to, what the heck is the name of this place, oh, North Billerica, Massachusetts, to pick up a load there to bring to... Wapakoneta, Ohio. Yeah, I said it right the first time, which impressed me. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I spent some here and then go in the morning, head to Ohio, and then hopefully it's beautiful out that way, though, in the morning. But um, for a schedule preview time, it is noisy here. This is not going to be fun. I'll have to run some music in the background so I can sleep. Schedule preview time. It's time for the first of the eight new AAC members, and that's going to be UTSA, Texas San Antonio, who uh, had a great season in Conference USA, actually won Conference USA going 11-3. and three. How are they going to do in their first season in the uh, AAC from Conference USA? Now, normally under these schedule previews, I compare non it's, you know, it's going to be a little bit different, though, because we can't really compare. I think this year's schedule is going to be tougher than last year's. Because you're going from Conference USA to the Americans, and the schedule will be tougher. But we're going to compare non-conference games from last season and this season. We'll decide which one's tougher, and then we'll go through the schedule preview from last season and this season, and we'll decide which one's tougher. This is schedule preview, not a prediction, a preview. Okay. All right. Last season's non-conference games, which are kind of uh, ironic, because they played a former AAC member who's now in the Big Twelve, and that's Houston. Versus Houston at Army at Texas and then home against Texas Southern. They're just whipping right by, aren't they? Uh, this season at Houston versus Tex home against Texas State, home against Army, and at Tennessee. Last season with Houston Army, Texas, and Texas Southern, that's one power five, two group of five, because Houston was a group of five last year. One um, FCS and a Power 5 and a Group of 5 was on the road. This season at Houston, home against Texas State, home against Army at Tennessee. Two Power 5, two Group of 5, both Power 5s on the road. So I'd say this season's non-conference schedule is tougher. So let's go through last season's schedule in its entirety, and I'm going to go through this season's schedule. I think we're pretty much going to figure out this season's is tougher, but First off, last season, start off at home against Houston, lost 37 to 35 in triple overtime. Woof. Then come back and next week again at Army, won 41 to 38 in overtime. Back to back overtime games. Then they go on the road at Texas, lose 41 to 20, come back home for Texas Southern, win 52 to 24. Then they go at Middle Tennessee State and lose 45 to 30. Last year's team, Middle Tennessee State, got slept on. They're the team that went on the road and beat Miami. So last year's team, Middle Tennessee State, was a bit special. So them losing to them is not that big of a surprise. Home against Western Kentucky went 31-28. Western Kentucky is a good team. That's actually a good quality win. At FIU, won 30-10. Home against North Texas, a future, a, a conference member last season and a conference member this season. Though you switch conferences. They beat them at home 34-27. Then they get the bye week. So that was eight games before the bye, four games after. Start out, come out of the bye at UAB and win 44 Continue to... Continue on the road. No. Don't you love when my GPS just talks when I don't need it to? I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to keep it going here because i got to get some sleep. So you have to deal with continuing on the road in the middle of the damn video. Um, out of the bye at UAB, won 44 to 38 in double overtime. Another new member that came up with. Home against Louisiana Tech, 151 to 7. At Rice, another future new member, 141 to 7. And finish off the season at home against UTEP and lost 34 to 31. Conference USA Championship game against North Texas. They beat him earlier in the year. Well, in the conference championship game, they beat him again, 148 to 27. Then they went to the 
excuse me, the Duluth Trading Cure Bowl, and they face Sunbelt Champion. I don't know, I think the Sunbelt Champion. They face Troy. I think they were the Sunbelt Champs. We'll get to that when I get to it. Lost 18 to 12. So they finished 11 and 3. Now, this season's schedule at Houston, home against Texas State, home against Army, and then at Tennessee, then the bye. I hate this bye placement because it's really, really early. Eight out of the bye, and you get to rest up, and then you get the UAB, a tough conference opponent, after the bye to prep for a road game. That was good. They have a road game this year after the bye at Temple. Absolutely horrible. Horrible schedule placement. Then they're at home against UAB, at Florida Atlantic, a new member, home against East Carolina, at North Texas, home against Rice, home against USF, and finish the season on the road at Tulane. That's going to be an interesting one. So, which schedule is tougher? Well, we usually determine this is, let's look at the road games. Last season's road games, at Army, at Texas, at Middle Tennessee State, at FIU, Florida International, at UAB, at Rice. That's six opponents this season. At Houston, at Tennessee, at Temple, at Florida Atlantic, at North Texas, at Tulane. I think this year's schedule is tougher. It's not by much, but uh, I think this season's schedule is tougher. Um, for because the, the, the having Houston and Tennessee both on the road is big. Temple on the road is not that important. Florida Atlantic is not really important. North Texas. They were, part, they were in the Conference USA Championship game last year, and Tulane was the great best group of five team of them all last year. So that's going to be a tough one for them. But I got to say, I think that last season's last this season's schedule is tougher. So first, let's get this out the way. Thanks everybody for watching the video. If you get noisy as hell in that little box truck. Um. Then again, everybody's being noisy, right? I'm presuming you're going to be able to hear this, but we'll see when I watch the video back. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching the video. If you haven't done already, hit, hit the yeah, hit the like button, smash the thumbs up. It helps with the video, helps the algorithm, helps me be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Three questions. One, you think last year's non-conference schedule was tougher, or is this year's non-conference schedule tougher? Question two. Is last year's schedule tougher, or is this year's schedule tougher? And question three, and this is the tough one. Last season, they went 11-3. and three. Can UTSA win double-digit games this year? And I'm going to count the bowl game. So they'd have to not, if they don't make the conference championship, they're going to win nine in the regular season. So let's look here. This is a, this is a preview, not a prediction. This is a preview. So let's look at this. At Houston, um, you faced Houston at home and lost. So on the road, yeah, I don't think that's too good. And you start the season with them again. Home against Texas State, that's going to be a tough game. Home against Army, you should get the win, but maybe not. At Tennessee, Tennessee's blowing your doors off. At Temple, you should get the win. Home against UAB, you lost to them on the road in double overtime, but you got them at home this year. At Florida Atlantic, that should be a win. Home against East Carolina, you're going to lose. At North Texas, you won at home by a touchdown. Now you're going to face them on the road up in Denton. That's going to be tough. Home against Rice, you should get a win. Home against USF, you should get a win. At Tulane, no chance. So, I don't see 10 wins. But you let me know what you think down in the comments. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Um, like I said, if you haven't, I'll never do the comments on this. And remember, if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. We've been, I guess I get my, I was kind of happy with that one scheduled um, conference realignment, conference craziest video about is the Mountain West pulling a Big 12. Most of my videos, as you've seen them, those who've been around here, doesn't get that many views because these scheduled previews about certain schools, everybody has their favorite. I got to ask the subscribers, ask me, do everybody in the Power Five all the Power Five conference members plus Notre Dame and then everybody from the American, the Mountain West, and the Sun Belt plus Subscriber School, Middle Tennessee State. So we're going to do all those too. And also going to do conference preview predictions and then individual predictions when it comes to Notre Dame and Middle Tennessee State. But um, so that video right now just crossed 2,000. The one I did for um, 
my, it's the Mountain West pulling a Big 12 and jumping ahead early for TV. Got over 2,000 views, which is one of the better ones I've done. So thank you, everybody, for watching that one. It's gotten a lot of interaction. A lot of people are taking their own take and having discussions down in the comments, and I welcome you to do so. You can talk with each other. You don't have to talk to me. If you guys are having conversations, please do so. Um, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Just past 400 subscribers, on the way to 500, slowly in that crawl to 1,000. If you haven't done it already, make sure you hit the notifications bell. I'll let you know when I post a video. I try to post one every single day. Um, so that would greatly be appreciated. So thanks everybody for watching. They are just coming in here like crazy because um, there's a, it showed up on the top here. There's an accident up ahead on um, I-84 where I'm at. I'm gonna, so because of that, they're starting to pull in. I was the only one in this parking space and the time we've done this video, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trucks and actually one of the trucks, <laughs> two of the trucks passed by the entrance to the rest area and backed into a parking space, which was, I was trying, if you saw me like trying to look at this and not laugh, that was kind of the reason. So thanks everybody for watching the video. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. <sighs> I won't be getting home until Saturday, back out on Monday, but it's gonna be a major mile week for me if I'm hoping I got enough hours to get home. If not, I'm gonna do my reset in this truck, which my wife is not gonna be happy about, but it happens. So thanks everybody for watching. Please be safe out there and please be good to each other.